Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and Aslan Ikam everyone. Uh, welcome back to Corporate Governance. We were talking about the Securities Exchange uh, Commission of Pakistan Code uh, 2019 earlier, the part one. And now we are moving forward with the part two. We talked about the mandatory provisions and to, now we are going to move forward uh, and uh, going to see that what other provisions are necessary uh, for these listed companies. Uh, this is a very important code. Uh, this is uh, basically uh, aligning uh, Pakistan uh, with the developments uh, of uh, corporate governance uh, at a global level. And thirdly, what we see is, is that it is providing more space for the uh, different listed companies to, uh, to ensure that there is better corporate governance uh, within their own organizations. Now, uh, the second most important part after the mandatory, uh, mandatory uh, provisions is basically the comply or explain approach. Now, what we basically see is that it requires diversity in the board. Uh, representation of minority stakeholders is also very important. Chairman of the board and uh, the, the, the selection of the chairman of the board is very important. Responsibilities of the board and its members, uh, the agenda and uh, different uh, discussions in, in meetings, uh, how they have to be conducted, how those minutes have to develop and how the board has to uh, basically ensure the compliance of corporate governance within their own company. And if it is not being done, then they also have to explain why is that so. Each meeting needs to be minuted. There has to be a proper attendance of the meeting. There have to be different significant issues for the board of directors. We also see that there is a very important dimension of related party transactions and a formal policy for remuneration also has to be constituted, which is provided uh, to the Securities Exchange Commission of Pakistan. We see there is a determination of remuneration. The directors, uh, basically what we see is that the director's uh, orientation program is also extremely important. And to further complement that, there is the approval and removal of uh, the chief financial officer, the com company secretary, uh, and the head of internal audit. Again, they have a proper framework according to which this is done. Uh, the qualifications of CFO are very important and the qualifications of internal auditor are also mentioned in this particular code. Ladies and gentlemen, we see the qualification of the company's secretary also has been endorsed. The financial statement has to be endorsed by the chief financial officer and chief executive officer, both very important components. The role of the external auditor and how that is going to be established, the human resource and remuneration committee, all of it all has to be across the board. The composition of internal audit function has to be properly composed and postulated. And then we see the very important director's report, which has to be given by uh, the chief executive and also uh, by the board. Uh, what we see is that there are certain things which are recommendatory. Director's training, where we see around uh, Pakistan, especially uh, the director's training courses are taking place uh, under, uh, the, uh, under the uh, guidance of various uh, regulatory bodies. We see the nomination committee is very important. The risk management committee is an extremely competent part. Disclosure of significant uh, policies of website also would be recommendatory. And uh, they also uh, should be shared by the listed company. Now, all of this, when we look at the mandatory provisions, when we look at the recommendatory provisions, and when we look at uh, the comply uh, or explain uh, provisions, then again, we see that the totality of it makes it a more holistic approach towards corporate governance. And now listed companies uh, are more encouraged to comply with all of this or explain uh, why things are happening or not. And then based upon that, ensure that a proper corporate governance regimen is being instituted and followed uh, across the organization. Thank you so much.